In this video, we'll be looking at the different types of designs that the Stitch Pro STI software can save and load, and we'll be examining how they are saved and loaded. Once your program is opened up, in the upper right-hand corner, you will go to File and select that. You will go to Open, and the default folder for designs for the program is the designs folder uh, within the Stitch Pro STI uh, program itself, but I've created a separate folder for this video, which is called Video Designs. First, I'm going to load an STI file, and you'll recognize this from an instructional video that has the smiley face being digitized. There, the file is open and it can be saved as an STI file, a CND file, and that is a Melco condensed format, an STX file, which is the expanded data stitch format, a DST file, which is a Tajima format, an EXP, which is the expanded Melco format, a JEF, and a PES file, as well. If I wanted to save a stitch for stitch copy of this design, I would select STX file. That's the expanded format that is nati native to the data stitch program. Now the files can be saved anywhere on your computer. You can simply navigate to a different folder, say the art folder I have, and save it as an STI file. The differences between the formats are as follows. STI is the wireframe or condensed format that's native to the, the uh, data stitch program. It's the information that would allow you to change sizes on the design and have the number of stitches change uh, in ter uh, relative to the size of the design. If you made the design smaller, the program would give it fewer stitches. If you made it larger, the program would give it more stitches. Uh, a CND file is a wireframe or condensed format, but that's native to the Melco machines. Uh, that's a specialty thing. Uh, they have to be digitized a certain way, and perhaps uh, that will be the subject of a future instructional video. A DST file is an expanded or stitch-by-stitch -stitch design that's native to Tajima machines. And these expanded format designs, like STX, uh, DST for Tajima, EXP for Melco, uh, PES uh, for the brother machines, that is the type of file that the embroidery machine reads. The embroidery machine needs stitch-by-stitch -stitch information to sew out the design. Uh, very few embroidery machines have the ability to interpret a condensed format design. That's why they're loaded on your computers and transferred over to the machine. Let's take a look at that concept a little bit further. If I were to deselect wireframe mode in the left hand side of the screen and uh, deselect artwork, there we would get a real clear image of what an expanded format design is. It's the stitch by stitch information that allows an embroidery machine to move its frames stitch by stitch to sew out the design. The expanded format design has information that just moves the frame in accordance to each individual stitch or raise the needle when the frame is traveling underneath the needle and you don't want to leave a roll of stitches or to change colors. A wireframe or condensed format, and let me turn off the stitches, is just that. It's a wireframe. You see how we have a design that has points. Let me select control points from the left hand side of the screen. For instance, in this sequence, here, white, blue, green, 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 
green that makes a curved section or a curved segment for the stitches. The, the design itself has information embedded within it uh, that dictates the density of those stitches, the length of those stitches, whether or not the needle is up or down, uh, where the color changes, but we could actually change the size of this file. We could make it twice as large and the embroidery program, the uh, data stitch, uh, Stitch Pro STI program would add the necessary amount of stitches to give it a, say, curved section like right here, white, blue, green, green, blue, blue, for that segment, that half circle segment, in accordance to the densities uh, that are set over here uh, within the design or in the uh, properties uh, area. So there you have it. That's the difference between a condensed or wireframe design and an expanded design. A condensed format or wireframe design is going to have information that shows the curved, the straight sections, or say uh, this fill, this outline fill. Uh, you, you could actually edit the shapes of these segments and stitch in the design rather than with an expanded format design where you would have to move each individual stitch to get a change in the shape of any given area of stitches. So there you go. In review, uh, the Data Stitch Pro STI program can open and save condensed format or expanded designs. Let me close this out and load an expanded format design from one of my folders, Video Designs. STX is the expanded format that's native to the Data Stitch program. Uh, DST, for example, uh, is an expanded format that's native to Tajima machines. And Tajima is read by most all embroidery machines. Uh, it's one of the oldest formats. So you might be getting designs in DST format from some of your customers. You can see this is a file of an airplane with a pinup girl. World War II vintage P-51 Mustang uh, that I've just loaded uh, as a uh, Tajima DST file. Uh, one of the great things about the Data Stitch, a Stitch Pro STI program is that with its expanded format, uh, if I had loaded this up as an STX, it would have loaded with the colors I'd saved in the program. Here, let me load up that same file as an STX file. And we're going to see that it has the appropriate colors, uh, the colors that I set after I digitized it and saved it in the Data Stitch program. So there you have it. It's simple. It's easy. You can open condensed format designs like the STI files that are native to the Data Stitch program. Uh, you can then save them as either STI or one of the expanded formats, or even the old Melco condensed wireframe format, which is kind of a specialty thing. Once again, uh, if, you, if there is a demand for it, I'll do a video completely dedicated to programming for Melco condensed. There's still plenty of those machines out there, so it might be worth our while to explore that. There you go. Opening and saving designs in the Data Stitch Stitch Pro STI program. Uh, it's easy. Uh, once you learn the difference between wireframe or condensed format designs and expanded format designs, it'll make your job as a digitizer much, much easier.